Danielle Smith, and I am working for SDI Media with the Access Services Department. We do re-speaking in order to do live captioning. The re-speaking is literally just what it sounds like. The, uh, the re-speaker, Andrew in this case, has uh, an audio line and he listens to what the audio feed is from, from the video. Then he does literally that re-speak directly behind it, including punctuation, as well as uh, things like applause and laughter. But well into it, dot. When I say almost, comma, I'm watching it right now, dot quex. Right before the show starts, questo, quex. Yeah, comma, and all of these, comma, but look at how many there are, dot. This is all questions. Up, but I so can't. captioning I is time. used not only for the hard of hearing, but also for people who want to maybe improve their language skills, also used quite often um, as many people have seen in bars or in gyms and the like. I don't know if we'll have time for all of these, comma, but these are questions and I have not seen them, dot. Don't settle for just any man, dot, cheer plus. So QLive itself is actually the one that's used uh, to connect to the broadcaster. Um, through the gateway, we can either connect through an IP connection or through a modem connection, depending on what the broadcaster is using. There is another application um, in the Quantum products, uh, and it is the one over here, so it's WinCaps Quantum, and that is typically used for offline uh, captioning and subtitling.